Hi, Chris. Hi, how are you? Good, good. Good to see you. Nice to see you too. So, can you tell us about what you do at Digital Forensic Lab? Sure, the Digital Forensic Lab is here to help Interpol directorates and member countries understand the value of digital forensics. So we do many things. Uh, we support member countries in operations for mobile computer forensics, but then we also look at new and emerging technologies such as drones over there, such as car forensics, smartwatch forensics, mobile forensics. And then we, all, we also have new and emerging technologies such as the robot dog to look at that to understand what the implication of that would be for member countries if they've used that for operational or cooperation support. What do you think is the most important issue at the moment in digital forensics? Is to understand that all electronic devices have data and that data may be able to assist you in an investigation to work out why, when, where and what happened. So for example, if someone has a mobile phone, there may be information on the mobile phone on who they were talking to, who they were communicating to, and they may even record or video the crime that they're committing at the time. Would you say that the investigation is much more complex today? Yes, because digital devices are becoming a lot more complex in what they do, what they capture and what they mean. So before you used to have mobile phones that just did phone calls, SMS, and may have, a pit, may have a camera, but now the phones are a lot more complicated, they have a lot more applications and a lot more capability than they used to have before. So the phone captures a lot of information which the user doesn't see that may be useful to your investigation. Thank you so much for your explanation. See you. Bye -bye.